is Marka Media. Hit it! Police department at this time is blocking off Jefferson Street for us. Okay, Chris, talk to me for a minute while we're walking about the significance of walking for answers. Well, it's symbolic in nature, uh, Mark, and uh, what I've learned that throughout the years, survivors of homicide victims and their friends and family members want one thing. They will always want to attach themselves to some kind of healing connection. So this is very symbolic in nature. They're not looking for answers overnight. But the bottom line is, is that they're making it happen in a spirited way for their loved ones today. And this turnout is the evidence of that. Uh, Michael Newby, 2004, was shot, uh, standing in uh, honor of my nephew, Charles Mitchell, in 2008, and my other nephew, Charles Neal, in 2009. Thank you, Ann. Come on, baby. Watch your step, Queen.
anti violence come together to take part in a walk for answers. Kristen Drew was there and she joins us now live with more on their message. Steve, hundreds of people gathered at the Jefferson Square Park today, each with a different story about a loved one who was a victim of violence. You've likely seen some of these faces on our newscasts, pleading with the public to come forward with information about their loved one's murders. But now, these people are coming together to walk for answers. I'm sorry. I just think they wanted to come forward. It's just crazy. I'm laying this road to the home of my son. One family here is remembering three murder victims, brothers and a sister who died in separate incidents. It's hard, especially with something like this, and you got their pictures, and it's a constant reminder that you'll never get to touch them, you'll never get to hold them, you'll never get to talk to them. While many came to remember, the family of Rod Singleton sent a friend. They say it's still too painful. Singleton was murdered New Year's Day. Mr. Singleton, he never bothered anyone, and his mom, you know, she sends a message that uh, she wants to ask the perpetrator, why did you murder my son? And he never bothered anyone. You know, they, he was shot five times. During the memorial march, U of L basketball player Peyton Siva joined to remember his girlfriend's brother, who was murdered in 2009, Camden McCroskey. It's painful. Brings back a lot of um, the memories. Kim Vanderhaar, Camden's mother, says it's healing to know other families here are hurting the same as hers. But she says she's at a loss for words for those still trying to get answers. I can't imagine being in their shoes. It's hard enough knowing that there are two people sitting over there charged with my son's murder. But to know that um, there are moms out there that have no answers, my heart just breaks for them. Since the merger of city and county governments in 2003, more than 500 people have died as a result of criminal homicide. Today's memorial march was organized by Christopher Tuex of Fight Crimes Against Children. I'm Kristen Drew, WLKY News. My name is Deborah Springfield. I've lost two sons, one in an automobile accident 10 years ago, and Derek Springfield in November of uh, 2010. Uh, I am hoping that the message we're sending today will be a continuum walking and living in peace. Don't let it stop today. Let everyone band together and continue to bring this to the forefront. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. Brandon Borders, our uh, brother. Wife and I are here today to honor my son, and uh, my sons are both, both in death. One killed last year, and we're honoring Bradley Neal Pruitt, our oldest son, who was murdered in 1983. We have uh, with Kentucky's Voice for Crime Victims. In 2005, our youngest son was murdered. Uh, his name was uh, Byron Earl Hill. Yes, I'm here to represent Angela Hughes. She was killed in June the 15th. I was six. I'm her mother, and this is her father. Thank y'all. God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank you, brother. I have to represent three people that are gone for no reason. But in 95, I had a daughter that was 96, a daughter that was killed 
in June, and then 30 days later, I have a son that was killed in July of 96. Yes, ma'am, I'm praying down to you, baby. Then I have a son that got killed. It'd be a year ago in November. God, y'all, y'all gotta stop this. Can't nobody stop this but us. We are the ones letting this go on. All right. It's time to stop. Because my heart hurts. And I know y'all do too. Thank you. I'm laying this rose in honor of my son, Tyrone Lamont Cheatham, who was killed May the 14th, 2005. And I pray to God that someone, someone will stop all of this killing because it's totally unnecessary. Thank you. God bless you. Give a hand, y'all. I'm here today to lay this rose down in honor of Shantae Lee. He was killed in 05. All right, y'all. Open it up in the middle. Open it up, y'all. Yeah, represent my brother Tony Miller who was killed February the 8th, 1990. My cousin Charles Neal was killed July the 9th, 2009. My cousin William Stevens was killed 1996, August the 3rd. And Pernell Duke and all my loved ones and friends and everybody. But one thing I want to say, God said, let vengeance be mine. Gotta take care of everything, may God bless everybody. All right, I'm here in honor for my son, Corey Thompson Jr., and I'm also here to confront and to tear down the strongholds of this murderous spirit that's taking over our city. In the name of Jesus, we will handle this thing in the name of Jesus. We're laying this rose for my brother Antoine Thomas Thompson Singer that got killed on May 5th, 2005. Wow, all right, y'all. Good evening, fellas. My name is Vincent Moore. I'm here representing Rodman Singleton and his family. He was murdered senselessly in the alley of 4100 Muhammad Ali on New Year's night, 2011. And I have a message from his mother, who's going through a whole lot of pain right now. Her wish is just to ask the perpetrator, why did you murder my son? Thank you. My name is Adrian. Open the middle up, y'all. I'm here representing my daughter, Stephanie Fletcher. She was murdered. July 25th, 2010. Her murder still in south. She was on her way home to her house from Walmart. Thank you. My name is Ben, and I'm here to represent my son in law, Daniel Corona. He was murdered in May 2006. I'm Josephine. I'm here for my nephew, Lamont Joy Cobb, whose life was taken October the 18th, 2010. I'm Warren Bell. I'm representing the Noble family. This is Delson Noble. This is good. This is Delson. He was murdered in 04, and his body was dumped behind Jan Waddell's uh, house in the alley. Why? You know what I'm saying? Confession's good for the soul. Make it right, dude. All right. Everybody, a moment of silence, please. They're going to ring the bell 11 times again for 2011 and us reflecting on this Sunday, February the 13th. So if
Y'all could go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, y'all. And I'm laying this flower for my loved one. Tomorrow is our 16th year wedding anniversary. And I still miss it. And it still hurts. So I ask y'all to just pray for me and let the violence stop. Thank you so much. Give her a hand, y'all. Jefferson Square comes from all parts of the city of Louisville, representing all races. They come here today, though, with a common bond. They're all the families of homicide victims gathered here today to remember their loved ones. Hold your roses up! Signs, pictures, t-shirts, and prayers. These memorials, all part of the grieving process. Each family bringing their own story. He was 15 years old, and uh, they found him in between uh, a house. Uh, by the time we got the call, he was already gone. By the time we got to the hospital, he was dead on the rabble. I had a brother that was shot down and found uh, in the weeds at 28th and Broadway on May the 10th, 2008. They found him inside the building, and he had been stabbed and to death. And, and they went out. They went out the door and left him lay there to die. Vicki Talbert, whose son was Sean, known best as the rapper Sugar Shiz, was murdered back in August. Me and him were so close, you know. He was not only my son, he was my best friend. And it, it hurts because he was my first child. And uh, I miss him every day. The hurt all these families share also unites them. 
so many still searching for answers to who killed their loved ones. They say this gathering is another part of the healing process. You know, it never goes away, so you just have to just keep on surviving. You know, for days that you know life can go anyway. Since this killing, we gotta stop. Because we all hurt. We all hurt pain. And I, my brother got killed by one hateful name, Tony Miller, you know, and it still hurts today. As young and old place roses to remember their fallen family members, the loving memories of those who may be gone but never forgotten lives on. Reporting downtown, Mike Colombo, WHAS 11 News. We got to stop killing each other. You know, find some peace. Get God in your heart. So on behalf of everybody, may peace be with everybody. God bless you. Give her a hand, My name is Evangelist Charlotte Faye Martin. I stand here today representing my baby brother that was shot down and found laying dead at 28th and Broadway on May the 10th, 2008. But I come to tell the victim, the wedges of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So you can't run, you can't hide, and you can't run. You will be called sooner or later. Thank you, Lord. I need thee, Lord, and oh, I need thee. Do, do not pass me not, oh, jealous Savior. I ain't come. I'll come to me. My name is Kim Vanderhart, and I am here to represent my son along with my mother and my two other sons and the entire McCroskey and Hammond family. Camden was gunned down in broad daylight on April 3rd, 2009 in the Value Mark parking lot on Outer Loop. We do have two cowards that are incarcerated across the street for shooting him in his back and killing him and leaving his daughter left behind. But my heart also goes out to every one of you that have lost a family member and to all you mothers that your crime is still unsolved. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 